Yo, what's up everybody, Tolling here, and today I've got an amazing tutorial for you guys. So if you haven't heard, there's a piece of software called Lumia Stream. With Lumia Stream, it gives you the ability to control a lot. I mean, it, it's lighting, plug outlets, uh, MIDI, MIDI controls, every, it's like it's got a big list of stuff it can control. So this is Lumia Stream right here. And if you go over to connections, it's got platform streaming services. So it's got Twitch, YouTube, Facebook controls for it. You go to streaming services, it's stream elements, which I use obviously. It's got uh, Streamlabs, Stream Elements OBS, and Streamlabs OBS. Uh, extended services, you've got tstream.com, TreatStream, Extra Life, Tiltify, and Patreon. Uh, for lighting, lighting, there's a lot of lighting. I've obviously got my Philips Hue here connected to it. Let's go to Add Connections. You've got Philips Hue, Nano Leaf, you know, little square triangle thingies, uh, LifeX, Ye Light. No, mine's are Ye, ye, uh, ye Sight. Color Light. Corsair, Razer, Magic Home, Elgato Light Strips, and like Steel Series. It's got a ton of different lighting. Down in Devices, I've already got my MIDI connected, but I'll show you guys how to connect that. Let's go ahead and head over to New Connections. You've got Elgato Key Lights, Elgato Stream Deck, so you can connect it to your Stream Deck and do that cool, cool stuff there. MIDI, obviously, open sound control, protocol for your networking sound synthesizers, computers, and other multimedia devices. I'm actually going to be looking into that one later. Hue plugs, the little plugs you can plug into your outlet control with your Philips Hue apps. TP-Link plugs, same thing. And you've got Smart Life and Tuya, I think I pronounced that correctly. All of these are controllable through Lumia Stream. So what does Lumia Stream do? With Lumia Stream, you can set set up your alerts to react. You can set your alerts to control your lighting. So right now, I do not have a follower set up. It's just your basic color, value, brightness, etc. But you can also do API and MIDI, which is Manage MIDI right there. And then you've got your stream elements, which is your donation and your redemptions. So under Twitch, you've got your follow alerts, subscriber alerts, bits, hosts, and raids. Raids, I got a huge idea planned out. It's gonna look epic. When I can get the one required thing I need for it. So let's go back. You've got commands. So with commands, uh, anybody can go ahead and type in the exclamation point and then a command. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into the MIDI controls for it. So I'm gonna go down to studio. Nope, wait, can't do that yet. I gotta set it up first. So we're gonna go down to MIDI you're going to you're going to do when you first get it you're going to do a new connection i don't need to do a new connection because i already have one but it will basically be the same screen so you're going to need dmx port which is one of my midi devices the focus right usb midi is my interface which doesn't work as a software pass through it's a hardware pass through so it's going to take hardware into the software doesn't work software to software for some reason. I can't figure out how to get it to work. It might work, I just don't know how. I'm gonna close that, click save. So along with Lumia Stream, if you're gonna do anything with MIDI, you're going to need another piece of software. It's free, I'll have the link for everything down in, down in the description below, but you're gonna need a piece of software called Loop MIDI. Right now, I've got two MIDI loops. I've got DMX port and the laser MIDI. To add a new one, you just type your thingy in here and you click add. I'm not gonna add it because I don't need to. I don't need another one. So, you've got your MIDI set up. And now, you can actually go to your studio. 
I like to do mine under reactions. I believe you can do it under scenes as well. No, that's just for the Philips Hue stuff. So for Philips Hue, it's you're gonna do the name, it's gonna create chat command, then you're gonna just gonna take the objects that you want to Lumia to control, drag them over. So it's gonna be a blue color. Don't need to make a new one because I already have a blue. You won't be able to see it. Well, you can kind of see it in my camera. It changed the screen, the lights behind my monitor. It should be reverting back to normal, but they're not. So I'm going to make mine in reactions. So as you can see, I've already got some reactions here. So uh, for my <clears throat> lighting, I use a system that's called DMX. It is a lighting system that is largely used for concert venues. Um, for my system right now, I've got three lights. So let's go ahead and go that way. I've got a par light, which is this little guy right here. Bunch of little LEDs on a light. I've got a strip light. And I've got another par light right back here. Those are connected together to my computer through this guy. It is the Show Express interface. It's got 512 channels that I can use for my lights. For the software that I'm using, it's, it's required. There's really no way of getting around it. And this is the software I'm using. It's the Chauvet Show Express. I will go into more detail on how to set up the lights and the and the effects in a little bit because that's that's a whole nother thing on itself uh, excuse me but where did my GoPro go and my GoPro took a crap I've been having so much trouble with that stupid GoPro There we go. Now that I got my GoPro back up. So I've got my Chauvet Show Express with my scenes loaded. So let's go ahead and do another scene for the color shift. So I've got my color shift going. That's what it does. It's a permanent scene until somebody else changes it. So that's this is the one I'm going to currently make the command for. So I'm going to turn that off because it's bright in my face. So we're going to go over back to Lumia Stream. I'm going to add reaction. Remove the color because I don't need it. That was a color shift. Let's just fade. Color fade, that's better. Um, transition. Not going to really worry about these because I don't have any slots for to go through. That one's gonna keep running until somebody runs another command. Uh, not worried about audio, not worried about devices or API, I want MIDI. So in here, we're gonna do color shade. Um, don't need a recent setting. For the port, I'm gonna select DMX port, the first option. Uh, note on, I'm going to leave it on. I leave all of them on. It doesn't really affect it at all. For the channel, I've got all these channels to choose from. So 1 through 16, which I'm sure I'm going to need more eventually, which is why I've got the loop on it. Uh, so for this one, right now, I've got 24 channels that I can run through it because I've got the two different devices. I can add another one if I need another device or more channels. Not going to worry about it. So for the color shift, I've already had it set to MIDI uh, channel 7. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to this, set it, set it to MIDI channel 7. I always do it on the same note, which I could probably change the notes and get away with not having to change everything else constantly. And let's turn that off. So I'm going to 
make sure I got everything. Add MIDI. Hit done. I'm, I'm going to go back to Chauvet Show Express. Right click. Button trigger. My little button trigger menu is going to pop up here. And you can see I already have one in there. I can set it to whatever the hell I want. All. Note, controller, program, data, default. Easiest way to do this so you don't have to worry about mecking anything up. I'm just going to click learn. Go back to Lumia Stream and hit test. It's going to send the information over. So it's device 1, channel 7, note, data 24, I believe it was 12 before. And default control, that makes it so much easier. So I'm going to click apply, and that is set up for that. And let's just go ahead and click done. So now I've got all my DMX colors, my donations, my color, uh, jump shift, and my color fade. All right. So let's pop open Show Express. Dock that there. So you've got all of those there. And all of these are already linked up. I've got color jump and color shift already linked up. So if I went ahead and do DMX red, you can see that DMX red turns on. It's going to stay red. I probably should do delays so that if somebody does want to change the color, they don't have to, like somebody else can't just jump in and change it right away. But yep, I've got red, green, purple, blue, light blue, blue. I've also have a donations one. I've got the color shift, which is the a different one that I've already had programmed in and the color fade, which is uh, the one that I just done. So that's how you set up the DMX. That's how you get everything talking to each other. The next thing you can go into your commands and it will list all of the commands that you currently have set up for it. So the color fade, I can go over to edit. And if I want only mods, VIPs, and subscribers to be able to change it, I can change it to just those guys. And I just click apply, saves it, all done, done in uh Everybody's happy. I'm going to change that one back and apply. Uh, donations, I have the command turned off. It shouldn't have a command, so I could just delete the command. You can also do global settings. So, users, mods, subs, followers, anyone. Um, this is all new, so I'm going to have to go poking through that in a bit. You can do Twitch points, which not exactly sure how they work. And you do have Twitch extensions. So for the Twitch extensions, let's turn that off because it's freaking out the camera. Uh, everybody knows what extension is. It's a little thingy that pops up down below your stream so everybody can see you know, like your roles, your setup, your wish list, and stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm going to add a new extension. Uh, new command. Let's go ahead and change this to color fade. Uh, value. Change it to white. Uh, I don't want to change the value. I want to change this. Change the the, the type. So you're going to go to reaction. You're going to find your color fade. And you're going to pick your bit amount. I'm going to I'll throw it on there for a thousand. And you're going to click apply. So now I have a new Twitch extension command for Lumia. Next up is going to be alerts. So for the alerts, You've got the followers, subscriber bits, hosts, and raids. For the raids, I've got an amazing idea planned out, and hopefully I can get everything I need for it. It's going to look amazing. Uh, for stream elements, this gives you the donations and the redemptions. 
Uh, for my donations, I do have a cool thing that's planned out, but it's going to be another $900 that I got to spend that's not including shipping and tax, so it's probably going to be closer to 1000 but it'll look amazing when I'm done. So, I've got my donation here all set up, so it's reaction donation. I can add variations, so if somebody donates more, they, they it's a different reaction, but honestly, this one's cool enough, I'm just going to leave it. So if you notice, when I pulled up my loop MIDI, it's got a laser MIDI here. That is because I actually have, for my donation button, an output setup. So if I go to my button trigger, pop it up, there you go. MIDI output is device two, which is the laser, channel, all, all, that, all that other stuff. And this is actually going to go from Chauvet Show Express back through Loop MIDI and into another piece of software called Laser Show Design, Laser Show Designer Quick Show. It's a demo because I don't have the required license for it, which I believe is comes with the interface for the software to the laser. It is literally software control for a laser projector. So you've got all kinds of cool things you can do on this. Let's go to uh, background two. Uh, background one. I mean, there, there's there's a lot of different stuff you can do, but uh, what I'm, what my plan is, is when somebody hits the donation, it's going to go from Lumia Stream to Show Express and then back to Quick Show. So I'm going to real quick, I'm going to hit Test Donation. And as you can see, it triggers the lights, it triggers the laser projection. This is set for 10 seconds, so the lights and the projection will shut off at the same time. There you go. It's it's all good, it's all amazing, it's all fun as hell. And like, if you can afford to do it, do it. It's something that not a lot of people have. Uh, for the stage effects, you can get projectors. You can get projectors, you can get the laser projectors, you can get the par lights, you can get fog machines, you can get geysers, which are fog machines with lights in them that shoot into the air. There's so much stuff that you can do with DMX lighting. Uh, you, you can get outlets, plug-in outlets that are controlled through DMX. There, there's literally, like, there, there's almost no limit to the amount of things that you can do with a DMX light, uh, light setup. Literally, you just need the imagination to do it. So, that was my tutorial for Lumia Stream for the MIDI connecting to a DMX. Um, I will do another video that shows you how to set up set up your lights, your DMX lights with your cables and set them up in Show Express. Uh, in my next video. To try to maybe maybe I'll make it a series and see what other cool things I can do with th with three lights. Um, if I eventually get the laser projector, I'll go and I'll show you how I set that up. But uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I'm Tolwing, and see you guys later.